Hello, hello, and welcome back to A Grain Skies. We are in episode 22, and uh, it's time for bees, I think. Um, it's been a while since I've been uh, recording, because I went and played another game for a little bit, but um, if I remember correctly, bees was next. Um, so we're making progress in uh, different places. Let's check out uh, how Toast Red is going. Yeah, only 17 of those, so hopefully it's making, um, hopefully the bakery is working like crazy over here. Let's go check it. And then, uh, on to making bees. Yeah, so we've got bread happening. Huh. Let's see, I might have a cyclic assembler stuck. Ah, uh, yes, uh, it is full of flour. And it can't make... Ah, okay. So this thing's full of wheat, which it needs to be. But this guy doesn't have any spaces left for um, it to actually insert anything. So let's clean that up and... Yeah, that seems to be working a little better. Okay, that'll that'll do. So we'll toss the uh, rest of this in uh, back in the ME system. So yeah, that's gonna be. I want it. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna go uh, set up bees and. I think what I'm going to end up doing is uh, setting them up all in this section right here. So uh, bees like grass to uh, to spawn on. I've already got a chest over here with the hives that I got as a quest reward and an ME crafting terminal. So I'm going to build some stuff and uh, be back in a couple minutes to start the Bees and Trees quest which is right here. We're going to start with an artificial hive and some seed oil. Back in a few. Okay, I'm back. Um, all I ended up doing was clearing out the uh, the pigs. I uh, tamed a couple of the ocelots to give myself uh, a cat, because, you know, cats are cool. Um, and cleaned up this area with the fences, made some doors to uh, just get into the, the back of... Uh, the farm uh, storehouse and uh, so we need a couple things to make an artificial hive so really want to get to centered artificial hives to attract bees to do that uh, we need an artificial hive and then we need to dip it in seed oil artificial hive is uh, hay bales with silk mesh so mesh is string, um, hay bales are wheat like so, so, uh, yeah. Really? Oh, I bet it's all down with the bread. Hang on. Oh, I also, also recharge the jetpack. You know. Okay, is this working? Yes, seems to be working. Okay. Okay, really? I just cleared this out. Um.
you can run, but I can fly. Okay. So the ocelots are now cleared out again. Um, make a hay bale. Like that. Silk mesh like that, and we get an artificial hive. We consult the quest book. Yay! And we need a seed oil can. To make a seed oil can, right, we need to fill a can with seed oil. A can is made of 10 ingots or aluminum. Um, probably just use aluminum. That's fine. We'll, uh, see if we need it to actually contain seed oil. So to get it in there, we need to run um, seeds through a squeezer. Right? Um, we can use butternuts, we can use beech nuts, we can use, uh, well, 47 pages of things that we can use. Um, so, what we need is a squeezer. The squeezer is made with tin, glass, and a sturdy casing. The sturdy casing is made of bronze or tinker's alloy. So let's, uh, we're gonna need a lot of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a pattern encoder. There's our sturdy casing. We will uh, actually clear it. Do we have... Okay, bronze is there. Um, yeah, Tinker's alloy ingot is what is craftable. So that should be popping up here in just a second. There we are. Which means we can do that, encode a sturdy casing, and we'll put that on this page, just because. So in the crafting monitor, yeah, we're pulverizing stuff. We'll let that work. So now we're going to take our sturdy casing. We're going to need glass. And we're going to need tin. and get a squeezer out of it. Now the squeezer is going to require power. Okay, and that's where this guy comes in. I'm going to set up a tesseract on the mob spawner channel um, to do nothing with items, do nothing with fluids, and receive energy. Okay. Um, Set the frequency, and then um, put that up, and I, th I think that's sufficient to, yeah, 399 out of 400 uh, MJ. So now we just need to feed something uh, seed related into the squeezer. We're also going to need a fluid transposer. Which I conveniently have. And we'll need a fluid duct and I think Okay. 
Let's grab those just because uh, they're easy. And we'll squeeze them. Are we actually getting... Oh, can I just do that? For some reason I thought I needed a fluid transposer. Alright, it's squeezing things somewhere. Um, let me figure out where. Oh, there it is. Got a very little amount in there. Okay, it looks like I don't actually need the fluid transposer right now. So we'll uh, pull those back and just uh, take that now to actually get the hive to become a scented hive. I'm going to need a oak barrel. And I'm going to need some fluid ducts, and I'll also need, um... Pneumatic servo... Some slabs, and... Some fence posts. I don't actually need all of that, but... I want it. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, wow, I'm not going to get enough seeds out of that. Uh, let's get some more seeds. Okay. Um... Once I get the seed oil can, the next thing I have to do is build a um, a way to actually kind of drench a um, hive in it. And to do that, I'm going to put it in a barrel. But because of the way barrels work, I kind of need that barrel to not uh, be open air. So I need to build a little roof. And that should be sufficient. Okay, there we go. And we have... Oh wow, the uh, cactus seeds are much better. Seed oil and the squeezer. Right, so pumpkin seeds, melon seeds give 0.01, barley seeds, cotton seeds. Void capsule. Okay, so these are the hunger overhaul seeds. They give 0.1. Looks like they almost all give 0.1. Okay, there's pumpkin and melon seeds at 0.1. Regular seeds at point one. Cactus seeds also at point one. Huh, I am not sure, but it looked like it was uh, growing a lot faster. Huh, oh well. So, anyway, there is our seed oil can. Going back to our quest book. 
Yay. And we get five Meadows Hive, five Forest Hives, and our reward bags. I'll grab that one. And we've got that there. And looks like we have cake, which is in fact a lie. I'm going to go st store that and get ready for the next thing. Be right back. All right, so um, back. Turns out all I need to do was uh, add a pneumatic servo to that, and it worked out great. So I've got some excess seed oil up here in a drum. I've got seed oil in a barrel. And uh, I need to make a scoop for... Uh, for this. So to uh, fully deal with bees, I've got meadows hives and forest hives to get bees, but if you didn't have those, you could take this artificial hive, put it in there, and get a scented artificial hive out of it. You toss the scented artificial hive over there somewhere, and it will try to spawn bees. And you can see it's slow, so we're going to leave it be while I go work on my ocelot problem. There we go. Alright, let's see how this is going. 11%, so still working. Uh, while that's going, we have meadows and forest hives that we can one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I go break them with the scoops, I will get bees and honeycombs. Wow, lots and lots of bees. I forgot how many bees you get. Um, hang on, let me clear some of this stuff out. I don't need... Uh, I actually like to keep my workbook on me. And... Torches are not a bad plan either. Okay. Let's see how this is going. 38%, so yes, yeah, still working. Let's uh, go over here. We're going to store our magic wand right there. We're going to store our Thalnomicon. And eh, the rest of the stuff, too. Mostly. Now, I've got an idea for kind of better bee storage at some point, but. For right now, I'm just going to grab a crystal chest and uh, use that because it gives me lots of space to put them. Uh, you've, you've got things like apiaris chests and a few others uh, which can be really useful for that kind of thing, but um, for right now, I'm just going to do this. So, Forest Princess, Pristine Stock, Forest Princess, Ennoble Stock. I don't think the differences between Pristine and Ennoble matter um, in Agrarian Skies. I think that that's, that's mostly for uh, Vanilla, or for um, kind of... I think that's taken away with, with some of the mods to this pack, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. That's a Meadows Ennoble. That's another forest drone. And that's another Ignoble Princess. There's another Meadows drone. 
and there's a Valiant drone for some reason. So you can see, you know, unknown genome. It turns out in bees it sort of matters the genetics of your bees. So let's uh, let's go look at that a little bit. I need to claim my reward bag, and I'm gonna pick uh, that one. And it is a greater reward bag. We get 16 plum saplings, which will quite happily go right there. We also get a modest princess, a modest drone, another meadows drone, and another Meadows Princess Pristine Stock. Okay. Oh, and a full heart. I don't know why I'm still storing these over um, over here, but I am. I don't think there's anything bee related in here. Nope. Okay. Moving on. Has it spawned yet? Looks like it did not spawn. Yep, so I got my hive back. But I have bees. So that, that whole process was basically to get you to having bees. Um, now that I have bees, I'm just going to stick that in there. And stick my honeycombs in there. And move along. Now, cultivating bees. The first step towards breeding is to uh, get the cultivated bee species. We need to breed any types of hive bees, such as forest and meadows, to get a common princess and common drone. Uh, that's important. You need an apiary. I'm eventually going to build an industrial apiary. But we'll start it this way. We will do an apiary, which uses an impregnated casing, which is uh, just a bunch of trees with seed oil. OK. Uh, and a carpenter. Yay. Carpenter uses a sturdy casing again. Let's just go ahead and make some of those, because we're going to need them. All right, there's our carpenter. And then we're going to need wood. And we're going to need our seed oil. Alright, let's... Oh good. It's making an impregnated casing based on what I asked. Perfect. Okay, I don't need any more. Or maybe I do. I'll at least let it use up all the seed oil. And there we are. Now we have an apiary. So the apiary, you basically put two bees in it, a uh, princess is in a drone, and they um, make other bees. So I'm going to grab my, uh, okay. 
Meadows Princess with a forest drone. And like so. Not daytime. Okay, so they want it to be daytime. Let's keep crafting. Because we have that, we're going to get a full heart, a marshy hive, and a tropical hive, and a reward bag. And, ooh, speed rune. We'll go install those while it's night time. So it looks like we're on this level. I have four speed runes to install. They will fit here. Sweet. We need a centrifuge. <laughs> That's going to help us get that. And we get a bealizer and a treealizer out of it. Centrifuge is what helps me get honey out of the honeycombs. Oh, and look, another sturdy casing. Now we have a centrifuge. And we can put it right there. If we... Grab a honeycomb and centrifuge it. We should get honey drops out of it. Now you can. Oh, and you also get beeswax. You can obviously um, automate all this with pipes and such. I just uh, haven't. And not daytime is its problem. Consume task. Oh, I actually wants to get me to give it a bealizer, a treealizer, and a honey drop. Okay. The bealizer is made. Wow, that's unnecessarily complicated. Um, two redstones, a diamond, glass, and tin. Treelizer is two redstones, diamond, glass, and copper. Okay. I thought that's how you made glass panels. Oh, like that. Carpenter. We have the impregnated casings. Now let's do <laughs> I'm missing something. Ah, water. Not sure if I can use one of those or not. And we need another. We need several water 
search for this. like we cannot use the fresh water we'll have to use um, a bucket and a tank full of water Great, we put two buckets of water in, and now we're making a treelizer. So in a carpenter, you put the recipe here, you put the materials here, and it you, consumes these to make it. Um, it's a little different than other things, but it's more like a cyclic assembler, I guess. And there's your treelizer. So now... need a bealizer. Uh, oh, probably water still. <laughs> Almost there. The treealizer, eh, I'll get to eventually. But the bealizer, I want almost immediately. Because with the bealizer, I can grab something like these guys and stick the thing in. Oh, I need some honey. Fortunately, I should have honey drops and beeswax coming out. Alright, so you need honey to fuel the thing, I suppose. Um, so, this one is forest, active and inactive, with a shorter lifespan, slowest speed, slower pollination, likes flowers, Good fertility area uh, of 9 by 6 by 9 effect none. Um, <laughs> climate normal, temperature tolerance normal, humidity normal, diurnal. Um, so basically, lots of, of information about this guy. If I use the forest drone, you can see he's shorter, shorter, slowest, slowest, etc. This one is also like that, but he doesn't stack for some reason. So let's, okay, normal, none, normal, none. I'm not actually seeing the difference between them. No idea. Okay. Oh look, it's daytime. And... No flowers nearby. I can totally fix that. There are now flowers nearby. It still says there are no flowers, but there are flowers. It'll find them in a minute. Alright, so we need to 
manually submit those, as well as a honey drop. Oh, did I seriously just submit my Bealizer with honey in it? Uh. Yes, I did. Well, that's irritating. You know what this calls for? Need another scoop. Because I ran out of the last one. And... Let's, uh... Take some of these that I got more of last time. The Tropical and Marshy. I get silky combs and mossy combs out of that. And if we toss them into the centrifuge, we should get more honey. I'm gonna let that centrifuge and then I'll toss the silky combs in and go submit the rest of the quest. There we go. And we get a Bealizer, a Treelizer back, as well as Forest Princess Drone, Quarter Heart, Tropical Hive, and a Reward Bag. I'll take the Reward Bag. It's a Greater Reward Bag. And it gets us a Invisibility Potion, which is not, uh, not super useful. Oh well. You know what, I'm going to stick the Treelizer in there as well. So we get Honey Drops Beeswack and Silky Propolis from the uh, uh, Silky Hive. Silky Combs. Um, so yeah, that's useful. We'll keep toss the impregnated casings back in there. Um, we will toss the... Honey into the Bealizer, and let's look at this Forest Princess, and Forest Drone are, both appear to be purebred. Now one nice thing, once you've um, analyzed them, right, those drones are no longer unknown genome, they actually show up. Uh, so that's useful. You don't have to just keep rescanning. I've got some some others appearing. Uh, let's see what these guys have done. Nope, still still working. I'm going to pull that stuff out because actually we'll be storing it separately. Um, what else was it besides the silky propolis? It was... I don't remember. It's okay. So... We want 16 honeycombs. Bee breeding is a scary science, according to some. Luckily for you, the jaded one has agreed to add guidance. Uh, they can be mutated in apiaries, elvaries, or in the mutatron. Um, I'm planning to use the mutatron because it's a lot easier. 
um, but it wants 16 honeycombs, or you can make, well, or you can also make all these things, a synthesizer, a gene pool, a purifier, an inoculator, um, and you can make alvearies. So, or you can make an industrial apiary. I don't really like the alvearies. Um, I'm going to make them because um, it's, you know, a quest, but I'm not going to build, I'm not going to actually use them. So it, it makes, asks you to build an alveary, alveary fan, um, and it's all variations of, you know, adding things to the alveary block. The alveary block is impregnated casings with scented paneling. It's a whole lot of things to craft. Um, you need some pollen. I'm going to have to go uh, figure that out. I'm not going to deal with this uh, live on camera. The thing that I want is the industrial apiary. And that looks like this. It uses Tinker's Island beer, pistons, glass, a bee receptacle, which looks like so, and a few others. So I'm going to go train the system on how to make these. Um, let's see, how far are we into the episode? 20, 35 minutes. You know what? I think in automating this stuff is going to run next time. Uh, this will be done in just a minute. So let's... Uh, let's just get our 16 honeycombs. No, I'll do that next time, too. Let's do something totally different for the while we're waiting on that to, uh, to finish. We will go and... Yeah, none of that's available for the hoarding. Um, ah! Unclaim rewards. Liquid bombs. Uh, we'll get the reactor casing. Because, you know, that's fun. And we can also... Ah, seed oil. We got our seed oil can, so claim that one. And next we need 160, 160 barrels of seed oil. Well, that's that's great, 160,000. Oh, look, if we fill this up, we'll be able to do it. So, um... Let's, uh, let's squeeze those out and see how it goes, shall we? Cases. Oh, they're there. And we'll check out the reward bag of two mana wars. There's another quarter heart. Oh, of course I can't actually open the chest with the cat sitting on it. I'll just toss those in there. And, oh look! This is done. So we've got a Meadows Drone of Unknown Genome, a Forest Princess, and a Common Drone. That's useful. Uh, we're supposed to be breeding until we get a common of each, I believe. So... Next thing I'm going to do is toss the Forest Princess and the Meadows Drone back in. And the Forest Queen. We'll uh, see what they do in the morning. I'll toss the Common Drone in there. 
and this is still running strong at 5100 millibuckets. Moving along. I'm going to let that run for a bit and I'll be back. Okay, so while the bees are running very slowly, and I'm going to do automated bees uh, next time, or industrial bees, I decided to go ahead and start building uh, what I need for the next big multi-block I want to build, which is a reactor. So I need to build all this stuff um, to, to complete the reactor warm-up quest. I need a reactor casing, a power tap, a controller, a access port, a fuel rod, and a control rod. Um, these are all, you know, important things. So let's get to them. Now I already happen to, uh, you know, teach the system how to build these things, but I'm going to do them by hand for, uh, you know, reasons. So there's the reactor casing. And it's there. Then we need the power tap. And we need the controller. We need a control rod too. Oop, uh, missing Yellorium. And two phones. That's not what I wanted. There we are. I also taught it how to make yellowium, which is just smelting yellowium dust. So that should go relatively quickly. There we are. There's that. And then we need... Controller, which needs that guy. Uh, we need a reactor access port and a Yellorium fuel rod. Needs a chest. Oh, that is not what I intended to do there. I actually wanted to pull out that way. I need graphite, which is smelting uh, charcoal, basically. So we'll let that cook. Come back to that in a second. Let's go check on our latest crop. It's still working. There we are. And that makes our Yellowium fuel rod. Perfect. And we're all done. So, um, I'm trying to remember for this guy, I need a turbine housing. The reason I can't build that is I need cyanite. Well look, I can get some cyanite. So now, let's make a turbine housing. Yay, and we'll get, um, hmm, there is turbine glass, difficult, not really, what about reactor glass, reactor glass is similarly not difficult, in fact, uh, let's go ahead and encode that. OK, 
because, you know, we'll want that at some point. And we'll go ahead and take the reward bag. So we have two greater reward bags and an epic reward bag. We get a no effect serum. That's useless. A spiked pick. Eh. And some nether copper ore. Okay. I'm not really super excited about any of that. But, oh well. It could have been cool. My cats are cool. I like my cats. The squeezer, I'm up to 27 buckets. Um, I'm clearly going to need a lot more seeds in this thing. And I don't think anything's running over there. Let's go check on the apiary, and it's still doing its thing. I really want to get, like, another thing of these out. So 100% quest in steel, done in steel-powered flight, which is cool. Uh, did that open anything in it is bragging rights? No, I think all this is done. Armor Smith is... We've done a good job. We just need the hardened leather. The basics armors. Yeah, these are all various crafting tasks um, that we will do at some point. Okay. Um, I think that's going to be it. I really wanted to... Oh, good. Okay. So we've got two forest drones, a Meadows Princess, and another Meadows drone. So we will cross those again. Remember, what I'm trying to do here is get to a common princess and common drone. I've got a common drone right here. And this will do its thing. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to uh, keep banging at bees for a little bit, and next episode we will make bees a whole, whole lot better. And I'll see you then.